Hey everybody, it's Chris with Out West with Chris, and right now I am going to do a quick knife review of the Kershaw Asset. One thing to know about this knife is it's going to become very hard to find. Um, Kershaw has stopped making this knife, it's no longer in production, but there are still knives out there that you can get your hands on. Um, one source uh, is Amazon.com. So. Um, after this review, go ahead and click over to Amazon.com. If you want more information on the knife after the review, click over to my website. I'll have a link down in the description and uh, you can even go to Amazon from that link, get more information and you can decide to purchase from there. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Let's talk about the Kershaw Asset Assisted Opening Knife. When you initially look at this knife, one of the first things that you'll notice is the texture. And it's not just a soft pattern, it's actually a texture that you can feel. Um, it, it provides a little bit more grip than a normal polished um, texture might. It, it also gives the knife a little character, you know, a little design on it. Um, the texture feels great, in my opinion, in my hand. I like it. It's, it's a great, uh, you know, feel and you, you feel sure-handed with it. Um, you know, you, you're not gonna worry about it slipping out of your hand when you're on a trail or if you're in the middle of the river um, trying to cut a leader on your fishing line. You know, it's not something that you're gonna be too worried about it just uh, letting loose and falling into the water because it won't, you know, it, because of the texture, you're gonna feel a little bit better grip. When it comes to grip, another thing that you'll notice is that the knife is fairly thick. The blade itself is not super thin. Um, you know, it's not super hefty by any means, but it's definitely not thin. Um, the The handle of the knife also isn't thin, and it uh, it's noticeable. You do feel it, you know. Um, that's kind of nice. It fits in the hand pretty well. The clip doesn't get in the way. Um, yeah, it's it fits, it feels pretty good. The Kershaw Asset has a three and a quarter inch blade. So it's not too short, but it's definitely not too long. It's kind of a, a nice spot in the middle. The overall length of the knife is um, about eight inches long and the handle itself is made out of a glass filled nylon. So it uh, is fairly lightweight. Um, it's not super light, but uh, you know, if you can feel it in your hand, that's for sure, you, you know. It's a little bit on the thick side. Um, it weighs 3.8 ounces, so not, not that bad. And uh, one of the nice features is it has a flipper right here for the speed safe. Um, so it's an assisted opening knife, so you just put a little bit of pressure there, and voila, it opens up. Um, it has a lock right here. That's the blade lock, and then it pretty easily folds right back up right there. Once again, it's a nice smooth motion. You know, it's not, it doesn't come open very freely, um, you know, you got to put a, enough pressure on that it's not going to just pop open on you. And it closes um, similarly as well. One thing, if you don't like um, the clip, and I typically always wear my knife in my pocket, the knife would be on the inside of the pocket and the clip hangs out on the outside of the pocket. Um, that's just how I wear my knives. Um, th I don't know why, it just is, but if you wanted a true quote-unquote pocket knife, you could take these, um, unscrew these, and take the clip off, and it would be a clipless knife. You can also take the, the clip off and move it um, over here on this side. The blade material itself is um, a stainless steel. To be really specific, it's 8CR 13MOV stainless steel. I've heard some people comment about this steel before, kind of in a negative tone about it not being rust resistant. I saw a review online, uh, one particular person kind of bashing this steel and you know 
they were basically kind of complaining that it's not rust resistant. And they said they live in the San Francisco area and their, um, you know, Kershaw's just get beaten up with the rust and they oil it frequently and this and that. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area too and I haven't had a rust issue on any of my knives that are made from 8CR 13 MOV or 8CR 14 MOV for that matter. And the nice thing about these blades is they can stay sharp, they're lightweight, they're durable, and they're cheap. That's what keeps this knife, along with it being made in China, uh, but that's what keeps this knife in the $20 to $25 range, the steel. So as you can see, I'm zooming in kind of nice and close here and I've had this knife for about six months now. It was given to me as a Christmas present and there's no rust pitting or, um, you know, rust at all that I can see on this blade. It's clean, it's sharp. One thing that you'll notice is that the blade is uh, an upswept blade, so it uh, sweeps back up. Um, there is a kind of an ergonomic um, feel to the handle. Uh, you know, your thumb here, the rest of your fingers there, and it, it holds really nice in the hand. One of the drawbacks, and I've talked about it before, it, it's nice in some ways um, that this knife is thick and you know a little bit on the heavy side not heavy but uh, it's noticeable you know that's nice in that you know you're gonna feel it in your hand it, it's a sturdy knife um, but it's a little bit bulky for me for everyday carry so it's not my EDC knife of choice this knife um, to me is a great fishing knife or even a you know pocket knife for when you're hunting um, you know not a bad knife for you know out at work or, or something like that too but uh, not really to me an EDC knife just because of its thickness um, but as far as a fishing knife goes I gotta go back to the texture it just feels good in your hand it's a sure grip it's uh, you know nice and ergonomic and I can see myself gutting plenty of fish with uh, that blade right there. You know, nice and sharp with the upswept point. Um, you know, good solid uh, gutting knife and just a nice knife to have, you know, in your tackle box, on your boat, or, you know, in your waders if you're out in the river. Um, good solid knife for fishing, in my opinion. Okay everybody, that pretty much does it for my review of the Kershaw Asset Knife. There are still knives out there on the internet and at other retailers that you can still get. So, um, it's a nice knife for $20 to $25 range. Hey folks, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see me review any other knives, let me know in the comments. And um, if you own one and you like it, also let me know in the comments.